Hey everybody, Captain Yee here for you for One Piece episode one review. <laughs> so uh, let's get into it. I was thinking about doing one episode for each time we're on a break for One Piece, unless I have a video idea about that manga chapter. So, yeah, unless I have a video idea for that manga chapter, one episode per break, maybe. If I can keep up with it, probably maybe. Obviously. I'm not gonna get nowhere near where the anime at right now because it was anime like 900 something, yeah, 960, 970. That's wild. Like, by the time One Piece ends, it's gonna be 2,000 plus episodes. That's wild. That is so wild. Whew. Okay, but let's get into it. <laughs> let's get into it. Anyway, the opening, I mean, yeah, the anime, the episode starts off with the opening. Classic. 101 opening with Goldie Roger and wealth, fame, power. Goldie Roger attained this and everything else in the world. My treasure? <laughs> you can have it. I left everything together in that one place. Now you just have to find it. Come aboard. That 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 opening is really good. That's like top ten. That's top ten opening. Sub or dub. Either way, I like the dub. You know, I can't wait this hat for too long, but I'll keep it uh. Keep it right there, y'all can see it. <laughs> uh, but you know, that's at least top 10 opening for One Piece. That's a really good opening right there. I love that opening. And the uh, actual anime starts off with just a blue sky. And there's a ship. And people on it, and you see a whirlpool. You see some seagulls go around. And two random passengers, well not passengers, two random crewmates on the ship, looks down and see a barrel. And that's when we get the title card and Luffy talking. I'm Luffy. The man that's going to become the king of the... Well, not because... I'm Luffy, the man who's going to be king of the pirates. Episode 1 title. That's exactly what he says, but all the words are in Japanese. Huh. I remember later on they switched the title cards to English, but right now it's just Japanese. Anyway, we go inside of the ship, and we see the captain talking to some people. Like, you know, our ship, it's pretty sturdy. It's expensive. No normal old whirlpool is going to mess it up. And we see some random girl with orange hair looking out a window. And some dude asks her to dance. And she agrees. <laughs> and she <laughs> and she agrees. And then we and then we cut back to the top deck to where those two cr crewmates, I'm mean, yeah, there's two crewmates that are trying to grab the barrel of this uh it's like a it's like a hook on a rope. It's not like a normal hook, it has two hooks on it anyway they keep trying one the big dude fails he's like bro you suck but he finally gets it and they pull it up and they keep mentioning about how heavy it is and then the dude at the i don't know what you call it i don't i don't know the specific job for it. it's like at the very it's like uh one of the masses on the ship at the very top you know the person that goes land ho i know that specific position is called or something but that dude that was up there that said yo you guys suck when they kept missing the barrel um they pan to him and he's like it's like he, his fake, I mean, not fake, his face is sook. And he is spazzing because in the distance, it's pirates. And it's the Alvita pirates. And I didn't notice before, I didn't notice it because, you know, every pirate crew has a different animal for their match. Like Luffy's crew, like in, in the, you know, Luffy's crew now. You know, I mean, in the East Blue, they had the Mary, the goat. And now in the post time tip, they have the Lion. Kid's crew has the Sark uh, Law. You know, they don't have a mass, like, animal figurehead because they have a submarine. But, you know, most crews have a specific animal in a mass. I didn't notice this, but Alvita, she has the swan. <laughs> that's, kinda, that's pretty funny. She has the swan head. I didn't, like, I didn't, like, notice that. I remember one day I was, like, going through, like, every crew with the specific animal. I was like, Alvita? I don't know what she has. I remember, you know, her emblem is a regular skull with a cross in it. And then she has a heart in the middle of the skull. Regular old skull but heart. That's her symbol. That's that's really it. Real basic. <laughs> it's real basic. Anyway, obviously, when he starts to freak out, Alvita's pirate ship starts to suit off cannonballs like crazy. And Alvita's like, come on, go ahead. Uh, you know, we got to get... Yeah, like, sorry. Come on, keep suiting it. We got to get everything on that ship. Come on, keep suiting, keep suiting. And everybody's freaking out. Everybody's worried. Not, uh, the woman with the... <laughs> Orange hair is, uh, you know, like, she was kind of nervous because that first shot of the cannonball kind of, like, rocked the ship. Unless they were trying to do that 
to scare everybody. Like, you know, the animators just do that to, to uh, predict. I mean, not predict, but to show how scared everybody is. Oops. I, uh, let's skip that a little bit. My bad. Okay, there we go. Um, you know, just the animator just to show how dire the situation is, but the but the, <laughs> but the ship like kind of moves over like crazy, you know. I'm just, the girl with the orange hair keeps smiling. I'm sorry, the fact that I know her name. It doesn't matter. Like you know, oh, this is gonna be spoilers for nobody. <laughs> but yeah, you know, yeah, you know, forget it. Like this isn't gonna be spoilers for nobody. Everybody's seen the first. Like even if you haven't, One Piece is like at the thousand something chapter. I mean, thousand sixteen. Chapter 17, 900 episode. Like, this isn't gonna be spoilers for anybody, <laughs> really. Okay, anyway, Nami starts to smile. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just quick. You already said it like three times. Nami starts to smile, and then we cut to our Vita sip. And she was like, Kobe, who's the most beautiful woman on this sea? And then they show this while she's talking, they're trying to trick you, they're trying to trick you so bad. I saw you this. That's <laughs> what it took you so bad. I saw you that quick little scene of animation. And he was like, oh, Of course, you, Lady Albedo. It's like, you're the most beautiful person in the Seven Seas. And then she starts agreeing and she's like, <laughs> Of course I am. Thank you, Kobe. And then we pan up, and this is what she actually looks like. Yep. That is Lady Alvita. Woo! Go get them, boys. I mean, <laughs> go get them, boys. He's a character right there, ain't she? But, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe there's somebody out there that really likes her, like this, you know, before she changed in uh, Log Town. But, you know, <laughs> she looks alright. Anyway, so Lady Alvita commands her boys to bombard that ship. That's what they exactly do. They start shooting cannonballs to hit down a mass or two. And then they actually board it with some ropes. And then we cut to the barrel that the boys caught, or the crewmates caught. And it rolls down some stairs. And then it rolls to a door. And the door hits it like it was a pinball. And it starts to spin. And it goes over here. And then Nami, she walks out of a door. And she's like looking around. And as soon as he turns, because she's on top deck, Lady Alvita's ship comes in the frame. And Nami's like, oh, shoot. And then she just runs right back inside. She walks outside. And she's like, Okay, we good? All right, we good. As soon as she takes a step, her Lady Alvita sip comes into the frame. She's like, oh, shoot. And it just run right back inside. Like she was not having that. It oops the pillows out of the frame. <laughs> gotta, you know, I don't have too much One Piece stuff in here. Gotta, gotta get it right. Gotta get it right. And I logged off the episode by accident. I'm so sorry. I clicked B by accident, my bad. Uh, anyway, and everybody gets on, they start boarding the ship, and she yells at them to go. And her name is Iron Club Avita. That's her epithet. Iron Club Avita. Obviously. It's wild that she has, like, her club is, like, the exact same club that Kaido uses. That's just so wild. Like, that's just hilarious. It's, like, literally, it's the exact same design, just obviously it's smaller because she's not as big as Kaido. But it's the exact, like, you know, it's the mace, the spikes at the top. Even has like the circle ring thing you put your finger in at the bottom. Like it's like the exact same design, just smaller. And Alvita uses it. That's so, <laughs> that is hilarious. Anyway, everybody jumped over to the other ship, but Kobe. Obviously, Alvita's like, "What are you doing? Go over there." He's like, "Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not too good at this kind of stuff, Alvita." And then she starts walking over to him. He was like, "Wait, no, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lady Alvita, wait, please, please, not the club." Anything about the club, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then she kicks him as hard as he can over to the other ship. I don't know why, but then she proceeds to jump off of her ship. She lands on the other ship and she crashes through a not a building. She crashes through she crashes through a wall. Yeah, she she crashes. Yeah, she bumps. She like she just bulldozed through a wall. She's on the ground. And she's like, Ugh. like she didn't just do that on purpose. I don't know what her game was like. Okay, she's a big woman. Maybe no regular rope can hold her. Okay, if you have to use three or five ropes, ain't nobody gonna say nothing. They're scared of you. They're not gonna cut your fat. That's okay. I don't know why you had to jump and bust through a wall. You look mad about it. Like that wasn't your intention. I don't know. I don't know why you thought you were gonna land on your feet. <laughs> I don't know why she thought she was gonna land on her feet. Honestly, that didn't happen. <laughs> and she just bust through a wall and she's on the ground now. And then we instantly cut 
to the dance floor and the side of the ship on the bottom deck and all the pirates are already there like hey man we're not gonna kill you guys but we're gonna rob you for every single last thing on y'all so cough it up and instantly lady avita's already there and she was like yep and if you refuse you could have a nice long sleep on the bottom of the ocean i'm like oh <laughs> okay and then we cut to nami she's like right behind her she's like right beside like oh it's like the it's like, okay it's the ballroom then let's say there's like a hallway she's in the hallway that looks right into the ballroom she's like okay you're all distracted and takes off her dress and she has this nice little pirate costume more like a legit pirate costume that's pretty nice i like that that's a dope design but they have that for a skin in a fighting game i'll use that i'll use it obviously they're not gonna go all the way back to the first episode if i did so you know maybe a game company knows it i don't know then right after that it's like cutting in this episode right after that we cut to kobe and he goes into the room with a with a big barrel was yeah with a big <clears throat> with a big barrel was that just knocked into him he's like wow that's a big barrel and then we cut a game like instantly to Nami, and she's already there. And I mean that there, she's already on Avita's ship. She zip lines over there. And then some random dude opens the door and like, hey, I don't know you. Where you been at? I don't, I don't know where you been at. <laughs> that, that bit, I'm serious. He was like, yo, who are you? I haven't seen you around here before. Are you new? And then Nami just mm, kicks him right in the coconuts. Yeah. Then he passes up. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty strong kick. And then she just giggles and smiles and blushes too. I'm like, okay. It's not even, that was a pretty hard hit, man. Whew. Then we cut again to Kobe and he's wailing. I'm not wailing, but he's like pushing the barrel over and over. And then we get three pirates. One, uh, these are the three pirates. Uh, we don't know their names. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the dude with the tattoo. He looks so dumb. Like, they don't get names. Uh, anyway. Uh, those three pirates coming like, hey, Kobe, you trying to just hide in here so you don't get none of the action? He's like, oh, no, 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 no. I just found this big barrel of beer, and I was going to bring it to you guys. I'm going to bring it on the ship. And then the dude was like, hmm, you know, we are kind of thirsty. Let's drink up. Kobe's like, no, you guys can't. And Lady Avita finds out, so kill us. She ain't going to find out. Now, is she? Uh, no. No, she is not. <laughs> you guys go ahead. And the dude says, like, the dude with the bandana on, the really big dude, he says it's heavy, but he picks it up with ease. Like, he's like, wow, this barrel's heavy. With ease. <laughs> he just flips it over with ease. I'm like, okay. And then he doesn't even try to open it any other way. He's like, hmm, I'm going to have to open this the old-fashioned way. But my thing is, back in the day, I'm, I'm guessing they do have bottles of beers, probably. But most likely, that whole barrel, from their perspective, is filled with beer. So him opening the old fashioned way just to punch it, that's just gonna break the whole barrel and the beer is just gonna go everywhere on the floor. So I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. Cause I, I cause like, yeah, back in the day, they just fill the barrel up with beer, right? And you have to like tap it out. I, I, you, I don't know why he like tries to bust it open. And he takes a good minute to even do anything. He's like, Ugh. and he grunts like three or four times. And then he finally throw goes down. Probably just, you know, extended the anime time to get the full episode in. But <laughs> I don't know why you gotta grunt like <sighs> like three or four times before you even punch anything. I don't know. And as soon as he goes to punch down, the mad lad himself, Monkey D. Luffy, he punches his way out of the barrel, punches the dude, and that's the thumbnail. I go. I had to make that the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. But this, but I'm still gonna show y'all. Boom! He just comes out screaming. And what did he scream? He screams that I you know he screams I just slept so great. <laughs> like he was just so happy, man. He just sleeps so good. He gasped a burst, I mean bust out of the barrel and yelled at. <laughs> I just thought that's so funny. Like he just yells that out loud or something, he busts out the barrel. Anyway, obviously he looks over and sees the dude he just knocked out. He's like who the heck is that? <laughs> and the other two parts like, who the heck are you? What, what's going on here? Hmm. You know, I'm hungry. And he just walks out. And then he put a sword in Luffy's face. And he's like, huh. Hold on now. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. Anyway, obviously, you know, those two pirates you get mad from Luffy and Nora again. Because Luffy's asking Kobe, you got any food on you? And then all you see is Luffy's head turn. And then the camera pans up to the ceiling. And you just see their swords break and 
pieces of the story hit the roof, and <laughs> you hear some punches, and then the two guys on the floor just, <laughs> and they don't know what to do. And I'll be like, hey, what's wrong with you? And then Kobe's like, who are you? No, 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 Kobe, I, no, I think it's the two pirates that said that. Like, who are you? And then Luffy, he just pans up from like his knees up. He's like, oh, me? I'm Luffy. <laughs> he just smiled. And then those other two dudes grab the dude that's knocked out and runs away as fast as they can. <laughs> Luffy went, I mean, not Luffy. And then Kobe went, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, you guys are wild. I mean, not you guys, you are wild. Oh my goodness. Anyway, my bad, it happened to you. Uh, anyway, Kobe starts to spaz at Luffy about how, you know, Lady Alvita's upstairs with tons of pirates. You can't take them on. Luffy's like, you know, I'm hungry. I don't know who you're talking about, hungry. So he starts to walk through a door, and Kobe is holding his arm, trying to hold him back. Obviously, that's not working. Anyway, Luffy gets through the door, and the door slams. And then Kobe's neck gets stuck in between both doors. Like, look at this. <laughs> and then Kobe's neck literally gets stuck in between both doors for like a split second before they cut to Luffy and Kobe. They're in the food storage room. All this Luffy's happy because he's been starving for ages now. And he starts eating like crazy. And then he says that, I mean, Luffy brings up that he was just, he, yeah. He was stuck in that whirlpool that was outside of the ship that we saw at the beginning of the episode. And he starts eating. He, I think, I think these are apples. I'm guessing they're apples. Anyway, <laughs> he's eating these apples whole. Like, legit whole. I'm, I'm less than that apples. I'm, I'm just, the animator just made some red round fruit. He's just chugging these jokers down whole. Don't care about the seeds or the core. <laughs> he's just chugging these jokers down. <laughs> oh my goodness. That jig is hilarious. And obviously Kobe, he's like surprised Luffy would even survive a whirlpool. Like what in the world? And then Kobe explains about how, you know, Lady Alvita, the pirate, is taking over the ship and there's passengers up here that's scared and there's pirates just running around so we should be more careful. And Luffy's like, Hey, are you a passenger or are you a pirate? And he keeps eating. And then he just stops talking. And Luffy's like, um, yeah. <laughs> and then Kobe tells us his backstory. And I just thought about it. Because, okay, so Kobe tells us that one day in his hometown, he got on a boat to go fishing like normal to catch his dinner. And he get on the wrong boat. He got on a little boat that was owned by Alvita. And they swam, I mean, they swam, they, they rowed back to her ship. And in exchange, in exchange for not killing him, he had become the cabin boy. And Kobe's like, wow. You're an idiot. <laughs> that is kind of dumb. And he says it's been two years since then. I'm like, wow. We don't know, like, even now up until the recent episode in the anime and the recent chapter in the manga, we don't know anything really about Kobe's family. Like, you know, it's be worried sick about Kobe. Maybe when he finally did join the Marines, he could call him up and tell him, you know, what happened and where he's at. Maybe, but, you know, we don't get, we don't get a hint of that. We don't get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who knows? <laughs> I don't know where his family is, how worried he is. He said, like, I mean, obviously, you think, like, well, he just said he had to get on a boat to catch dinner every night. Maybe he was an orphan. Maybe he had to catch dinner. I mean, like, maybe his mom and I were like, you know, go catch some dinner for us tonight. You know, go go fish. That could happen too, but I don't know. Anyway, Luffy's like, you know, that's so bad. You don't want to be on her ship. Why don't you just leave? <laughs> Girl, come on, man. Why did you leave? Obviously, Kobe's like spazzing, like, no, I, I can't leave, like, Lady Alvita? No, no, that's not a chance. I can't, I can't, I can't. And Luffy goes, wow, you're a moron. And you're a coward. I hate people like you. <laughs> I hate people like you. Man, oh, man. And then we just cut to the top deck. And then we cut to the... What in the world? Oh, I don't know. What's my second? Anyway, we cut to the top deck of Lady Alvita taking everything from the passenger ship and bringing it under her ship. And then we cut the Nami. She just stole all the gold in Alvita's ship and put it in a bag. And she looks up. Anyway, those two dudes, they climb up a ladder to go to the top deck, but they're stuck. And then they start to talk about Luffy, but they don't say his name. He's like, you know, there's some horrible monster down there that just jumped out of a barrel. Uh, we, we can't take him on. And she's like, what? And she throws her iron mace. And it hits the dude that Luffy passed, like, passed out or, you know, knocked out. He comes up the ladder goes and comes up behind them. And while she throws it, it hits him off of the ship. See, he goes into the water. 
And then the mace goes in the air after hitting him. So they come right back down and hit them both in the head. And it's, he was they were like, what are you talking about you, Lady Alvina? If we're talking about some random dude that just bust out of a barrel and started, you know, whooping us. We think he's a bounty hunter. And he sees, I mean, he she's like, what? And then we get the um, halfway mark of the episode, the, tit- the title sequence. The, not the title sequence, the... I forgot what you call this. But you know, the halfway in the episode where they title cards. Anyway, we don't, since Luffy's the only character we really know, we only see Luffy. But in the background, you can see Sanji, Usopp, Zoro, and them. But just like really fuzzy with the Mary. Anyway, they saw Luffy's wanted poster twice. It's not his original one, it's just a random one of him holding his nose. It's like, and it's, his tongue is, yo, look at this. His tongue is touching his eye. <laughs> his tongue is touching his eye and I'm sorry about that can you just chill legit he's been spamming me to join the party for a minute I'm just I just want to finish this then I'll join I'll join when I'm done um <laughs> you know his tongue is touching his eye as well anyway when it does the first time it plays Zoro's music his OST it plays that for Luffy and then the second time it plays Luffy's but the first time it plays Zoro I noticed it when when they started playing Zoro, I was like, "Wow, I already saw you one posted jump." But no, it just boom, Luffy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. And then we cut right back to Luffy and Kobe in the storage room, and Kobe telling Luffy about how he has dreams about becoming a marine and sailing up the seas one day. How about him? And Luffy like, "Yes, I'll become the king of the pirates." And as soon as he says that, Kobe. Starts to go stupid about how, you know, you, you want to be the king of the pirates. And we're like, yeah, the king of the pirates. Yeah. <clears throat> and he starts telling Luffy it's impossible with the new day and age of pirates, like a ton of pirates. Now, yeah, with the, this new day and age of pirates, where there's just tons of them now, it's impossible. You have to go to the Grand Line, the new world. They didn't say new world, but you know, you have to go to the, you have to go to the Grand Line. Be every pirate. You have to find everything. Like being a pirate king. You find and attain everything this world has to offer. Like, it's impossible. You can't do that. Like, he just keeps going on and on and on about how it's impossible. You can't do it. And Luffy just smacks him on top of the head. <laughs> Whenever I smack, he punches him. And he's like, why you hit me? I felt like it. <laughs> I, just felt, I just felt like it. And then, um, and, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Kobe, while he was saying it, he says, you can't do that. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, my bad. Wait, I'm messing up the words. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Kobe says, uh, no, and Luffy says, it's not, it's not a matter if I can become the Pirate King. It's because I want to become the Pirate King. I'm doing this because I want to. not because, it's like, oh, no, I can't do this because I can. He's like, that's my dream. I decided to become the Pirate King a long time ago. I'm going to fight for my dream. And if I die, I die. <laughs> you know, hey, at least I died trying to do my dream. You know, at least I died trying. If I die, I die. And then I just, that that was an epiphany (laughs) for Kobe. He's like, wow. I never thought about it like that. That is wild. Then he gets up, he's like, you know what? I'm going to become a Marine. I'm going to get strong. And I'm going to capture Alvita. That's the first person I'm going to, oops, I almost back that episode. That's the first person I'm going to capture. That's what I'm going to do, Luffy. And as soon as that happened, the roof, somebody busted the roof, and it's Alvita. And she was like, Kobe, who are you going to capture again? Come on, I didn't hear you right. And then Alvita's just standing over uh, Kobe, and she looks up, and she's looking. She's like, huh, I guess you're not the part hunter, Zoro. Zoro? And then right after that, I don't know why they don't just come through the room, but like two pairs of swords come through the wall on this side and this side of Luffy. And Luffy's like, whoa. One in the world, and nothing else happens after that. Nobody comes through the door that's like right behind Luffy, or comes through the wall. <laughs> they just, boom. I don't know why they just did. I don't know why they did that and do something else. And right after that, she asked, I mean, she asked Kobe the same question: Who's the most beautiful person on the Seven Seas? Oh, uh, uh, Kobe's like, hold up, I, I, I know this one. <laughs> I know this one. Uh, Luffy's like, hey, who's that fat lady right there? <laughs> Obviously, she gets mad. And she swings at Luffy. Luffy dodges, grabs Kobe, like, hey, let's get out of here. And jumps up to the top deck. And then, let me pause it real quick. It's a cool scene where as soon as he lands, the camera pans up on his face, and it's uh, pretty cool. 
Yeah, that, that that's a, that's a nice like you want that how you profile picture. That's nice. That's a, that's that's a pretty cool shot right there. But as soon as he lands, he's like, ha ha, <laughs> like he is ready. He is so ready to fight. And I don't think he does fight. The first dude he dodges it and headbutts him, and he turns around and punches the other dude. And then get like a slow motion shot of Luffy's face, like just turning around. Then like three or four pirates lunge at him with their swords. And Luffy jumps back while holding his hat. He's like, ah, you miss me. <laughs> and lands. And then he just does the classic, you know, Luffy. Well, he, he doesn't reel his arm. He just does this. He doesn't, like, reel his arm. Now, dude comes from above and tries to slash him. And Luffy dodges it. He's like, hey. I, I, sorry. I want to forget what he said for a second. He's like, hey. Coming up from a man from behind. That ain't fair. And throws him into a ton of other people. And then Luffy turns, turns around. And there's just a ton of people. He was like, this is, this is even that more fair. This, you're ganging up on me. And Luffy runs and he grabs a mask and he keeps running and stretches his arm out. And all the dude stops because they're like, what in the world is the arm stretching? And Luffy's like, hey, I got you. And he does gum gum rocket and just bulldozes through everybody. And as soon as he does that attack, Lady Alvita climbs up and sees that. And she's shocked. And she's like, whoa. <laughs> like, what in the world? Oh my goodness. And Kobe's like, what? Oh, what are you? Who, me? Oh, I'm a rubber man, and I missed it. I want, I want to see, you know, when Luffy does that classic, you know, pulls his cheek out. I'm a rubber man. <laughs> Just pulls his cheek, like, ten feet long. Who, me? I'm a rubber man. Uh, <laughs> I eat the gum gum fruit. And then Avita. Is right behind Kobe and Kobe runs to Luffy and then she's like she's just soaked just standing there. She was like, So you ate a devil fruit? Yeah, I ate the gum gum one. She says she always heard stories and tales about devil fruits, but she never actually seen one until today. And she was like, So, you a bounty hunter? No, I'm a pirate. You're a pirate. There's a crew. I'm looking for him. I'm a final man of the day. Or no, Luffy said Luffy actually says you know, no, no. Okay, she says, so you're all by yourself? Yeah, I'm looking for a pirate crew. I'll find them in a week or a month or, I don't know, whenever. <laughs> it's like, Luffy doesn't really know. But he's gonna, like, yeah, I'll find, I'll find my whole crew in a week or a month or, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. And then Luffy goes, you know what? I need at least 10. 10? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, at least 10. And then in the background, you see Nami running out of the door of all the gold. And then she goes, so tell me. If we're both pirates and we're not under the same flag, that makes us enemies, right? <laughs> and then, as soon as he says that, Kobe starts to go off about how Abita is the most powerful um, pirate in this waters right now. Even some pirates are even scared of her. And he's like going off and off and Luffy. He's not even faced. He's like, okay, and what? And then he thinks about what Luffy just said like two minutes ago. Like, you know, if I die, I die. I do all my dream. And then Kobe's like, Avita, you're the most fat, disgusting lady on these seven seas. You're nasty. And when I become a marine, I'm gonna you're the first person I'm gonna catch, you bum. Obviously she gets mad and she's gonna go swing at Kobe. Luffy's laughing his head off, and then Kobe's like, no regrets, no regrets. I said what I wanted to say, and he starts crying. And he pushes Kobe out the way when she swings down and hits her mace on Kobe's head. I mean on Luffy's head. And Luffy's like, <laughs> that don't work on me. Obviously because he's rubber. <laughs> Month attacks don't work. And then when uh when she hits his when she hits his head, it's a cool little shot too. I like it. Ah, I missed it. Are you kidding me? But he's like, you know, I'm rubber. That don't work on me. And he's just smiling with that big mace on his head. That'd be a cool thing if Kaido does that and it doesn't phase Luffy, but obviously he's gonna use hockey so it's gonna phase him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. That's such a cool shot. Just the mace on his head, and he's like smiling. Look at that big old grin. Oh my goodness. Obviously, he's on rubber. That don't work on me. Anyway, and then he defeats Alvita because he knocks away her club. She's like, whoa. And she's like stumbling. And then she just stretches. I mean, he starts his arm back super far. And then does gum gum pistol. But when he hits her, the animation goes into camera form for some reason. Maybe it's because he's hitting a girl. That's what I'm thinking. But it shows the rest of it, because, like, when he reels the fist back in, when it's, like, right next to him, it goes shot by shot, like, uh, uh, 
a, like stop motion when he actually hits her and it shows the whole impact that he goes flies away. And then that dude, I'll be the knocked off the ship like five minutes ago. He's in the water just floating. And he finally wakes up. He's like, wow, this guy is so, it's so beautiful today. And then Alvita just comes and hits him and he just a big splash. <laughs> if he wasn't dead before, he's probably dead now. That is a big amount of weight falling on top of you. You're probably dead. <laughs> You're you are probably really, really dead. <laughs> like it's not even funny. Obviously, Luffy is super excited and then Kobe's just shocked. And Luffy turns over to Alvita's crew, like, hey, Kobe wants to be a Marine. Get this man a ship. No problem. <laughs> no problem here, brother. <laughs> okay. And then the ship starts to like go crazy. And Kobe's like, whoa, what's going on? Luffy looks. Kobe's like, oh no, it's the Marines. And then Luffy goes, hey, look, it's the Marines. Go tell me you want to join. I'm a pirate, so see ya. And he jumps off this <laughs> he jumps off the ship. And then Kobe's like, wait, I can't join them now. They thought, you know, they see him in his position. They're gonna think I'm a pirate. And then we cut to Nami and she's on her little dinghy boat and she's tying up her gold. And then Kobe's and Luffy's boat falls right next to hers. And then just a big splash of water. And then they connect eyes. I mean, they, they lock eyes. Like they look at each other. And boom. And she's like, ah, oh, splash. And they just lock eyes. And then boom. It just cuts again. Like so many cuts. It just cuts to Luffy and Kobe on the ship. And Luffy's laughing. And then Luffy asks about Zoro. He's like, so this Zoro dude, he like strong? And then, Luke, and then Kobe goes, well, the last thing I heard about him was he's ca he was captured by some Marine base. Luffy's like, oh, he's a weakling. And Kobe's like, no, he's the most terrifying bounty hunter in these seven seas, man. Like, he's a three-sword demon. Like, oh, my goodness. Luffy's like, huh. So he is strong. And Kobe's like, yeah, what, what, what do you even ask about him anyway? Because if he's strong enough, maybe he'll join my crew. And then Kobe starts going crazy about how he couldn't join the crew. He's a bounty hunter. He hunts pirates. You're a pirate. Like, just start going crazy. And then Luffy gets up and then just punches him again. Why you hit me? Because I felt like it. <laughs> because I felt like it. <laughs> you keep rambling on and on. And in the very last scene of the episode, right before the end credits scene, or I mean, right before the ending, and the ending's pretty nice. I didn't listen to the whole thing, but it's pretty nice. My favorite ending so far is ending 15. We'll, we'll get to that, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, the last shot of the chapter, well, I'm, the last shot of the episode is Zoro. He's posted up on that cross, and he looks up, and that's pretty nice. Like, that, that, that's some good foreshadowing. Like, that is crazy. He looks up, and this is what we see. He has his bandana on, 